welcome to this uh, next Pavlov episode, where today I will be ranking every single gun in the game, or at least the ones you can obtain during World War II, my favorite game mode. Now, to start it off, is the shotgun, both variants. So, actually, we're gonna have um, four names. So, worst uh, bottom tier is uh, very bad. Hello. So, the bottom tier is very bad, uh, I mean, the, then the one up from that is bad, and then we've got okay, and then we've got good, alright? So, I'm gonna say, in the bottom, we definitely have the B-A-R-A-R, so, let me just show that to you by, uh, this doesn't seem to be working, alright, so, um, the BAR is an American weapon, uh, although I believe we are playing Soviet, so I won't be able to show it off to you. It is, you know, really, if you're, if you're good at it, sure, but I am not. And so if we continue on to other stuff in that tier, I would say, not this, this is actually pretty good. Um, if you're good with these, then... Like, the bolt actions, if you're really good at them, then yes. And if they don't have a bayonet, then they are down at this bottom tier of very bad. But if you have a bayonet, which everyone knows is the most broken thing in the game, you will rank it up to, well, uh, bad. So, yeah, the, the next tier up. Anything with a bayonet automatically ranks one up. See, you need it, whole aim it, and then you load it, see, like this, and I'm gonna need to do like that, but it only kills on headshots. Uh, maybe I'm just bad at it. Well, next thing that we have is also probably gonna be in the bottom section. Is well, um, all, all, all the bolt action variants actually are in the bottom section. Now I'm gonna say in the bad section we have the shotgun. Because this is pretty bad, especially if you don't have a bayonet. Like, look, it really depends on what map you play for most of these guns. But if you're playing on a map like Bridge or Hugnow, then the shotgun is really not your choice. Next, around this sort of category, we have got this SMG. This is actually the worst SMG out of the bunch. Oh, wait, I think I just got team killed there. Okay, well this is actually the worst SMG out of the gun. Although, I mean, it, it's not its not bad. I mean, we could give it a higher rating. Just the Russians have the worst gun. But, uh, yeah. That's, that's, that's that. Um, I would say then that's it for the, for the bad section. And then if we move on to the okay section, this is where the majority of the guns will be. For example, this gun. This gun is pretty good if you know how to use it, but once again, it has the same problem as the entire machine gun category has, which is no bipod. Now, the Bren gun is actually in the very good section, the same as the MG 42 but they would be amazingly good if, 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 if bipods were in the game. So, couple of developers, please, find a way to get bipods. See, the, the good section guns are, aren't that bad. Oh, down a decent amount. Alright, so now we are up to the next category. No, we keep down on this category, actually. Um, no, actually, no, let's move up. Now we have every semi automatic gun. These things are amazing. But actually, the best semi-automatic gun out of all of them is easily the M1 Garand, because you can actually get a bayonet on that. And if you get a bayonet on that, then it goes into like, a very, very good section. That is, it's just amazing. But uh, this and then the Gavia 43 are both quite good gun choices. If, uh, if you have two here, I'll demonstrate. I just I'm still going to need like two to three shots. Okay, that was not a very good demonstration. I'll show you again. 
can kill enemies in two to three shots, but every gun apart from the Garand cannot take uh, one like one of these. So that is the reason why the Garand is probably the best gun in the game. If we do a top five, the Garand would be easily number one, and then we'd probably get stuff like the Super 44, second and stuff, and maybe the Gavale 43, and the Sten gun. So, uh, yeah. Now the rest of this category is taken up by the Sten gun, which is amazing, and I wish I could show to you, however, it seems that the L thing is on this side. This is one of the guns you can only obtain by going to a supply drop. Uh, and it is really good. It is one of the best SMGs. Actually, I think it is the best SMG. But uh, it's still 44 top SMG. It's in the heavy category. There we go. Thank See, you. and a bang, and a bang, bang, bang. Ah, okay. Now that actually moves me on to the next gun. The MG42 that I want to find. Because I do definitely want to show this gun off, because it is an amazing gun. So the MG42 it has a very, very fast rate of fire. So if you're on a really close range map where you don't really need to care about aim, the MG42 is got to be one of your best choices. Now, uh, aha. Eh, damn it, it despawned just because I bent down to the floor. Just kidding me. This is not exactly my, what I'm doing. Um, I'm gonna ask. Hey, 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 hey! Can I have an MG? Hey, okay. they're not very kind. Well, in the meantime, I guess we shouldn't explore all the other guns. I think also in this very good category we have the bazooka. If you know how to use this right, it is amazing. However, it only has two shots and the Fiat. I think, actually, now the Fiat goes down into the bad category. Not even the other category. The Fiat is just bad. Oh, okay, that was not a very good use for the... Okay, if you can get a good use of it, it is a good job. Now, I just need to find that... Come on! See, this is why this gun is not the best SMG. It runs out of ammo all too quickly. Hey, 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 can I just have an MG42? Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, let's go! I believe I held that in my hand. Okay. See, this. It is big, it is chunk. But what? Whoa. It is insane. The only downsides of this gun is, of course, its insane recoil. I was trying to bend down the entire time, and the extremely long time that it takes to reload. Compared to another gun. Oh, I don't have anything on my back. Oh well. See, now I'll show it to you in practice. This is easily one of my favorite guns, and it's very good for dual wielding. The only problem is, of course, it takes absolutely ages to reload. Oh, like in a combat setting, this is very difficult to do. I'm gonna need that later. Or it's my next gun I'm gonna show you. There. See, it's just hard. Some of these guns are only obtainable in the pack. So it is easily the best. See, now you can see its main downside. I'm a pretty fast reloader of this gun, and even then, that's like three seconds. Oh well. Next gun. Actually, no, no, no. This is, this is a nice one. I'm gonna play with that later. Um, we have this Stug 44. This is, I think, the best gun that can go rat tat tat tat. It is amazing. The only problems are, is once again, the extreme recoil for this gun. It doesn't seem like much, but it is, it is a lot. And the fact that it actually does, it does a lot of damage per shell, but it doesn't fire as fast as the other gun. So it's close range map. Aim is, aim is not really the matter. Do not take this gun whatsoever. Ah, I can see the Fiat. The P. Oh, the Fiat. I think they're intentionally not taking it. And here's a little Pavlov tip. You know, you can actually take the magazines from someone else. Alright, I'm gonna give you a proper demo of this gun. And it's that until the Bren gun or the, uh, or the Sten. Oh, actually, speaking of good. Oh, oh okay, one or the other. Alright, 
the grenade is amazing in this game. I'm not kidding. Let's see another case of the MG42's excellence. Okay, I didn't get any kills. Still, I mean, if there were assists and stuff, well, that's okay. Oh, I mowed them all down. Ooh, hoo, 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 that was nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, but still, that L thing is on their side. Now, if I had to rank pistols, they're all the same, but I'd rank them in the bad section. I would not rank them in the very bad, because, to be honest, these things are the best suicide weapons ever. And, if you can hit all your shots, yes, they won, they can one shot, or like, no, um, not one shot, but like, one magazine kill. If you hit all your shots, which is quite rare. Didn't even get it then. There we go. And there was a grenade. Yes, I got him! See? I can just get the Thompson! The Thompson! I want to talk about the Thompson. The Thompson is the American SMG and it is quite good. If you look at those kills there, I mean, I could have gotten that amount of kills with any gun that has, the, you know, rapid fire. But still, yeah, it was good. But, uh, problems with the Thompson, well, uh, there isn't many apart from, well, I guess the recoil, but that's the same with every SMG in the game, apart from the MP40, which, by the way, if you're wondering, is in the good section. No, is in the okay section. Ooh, hi, hi, hi. See, because the MP40 actually has zero recoil. It is a very interesting gun. Well, about a minute. It's a very interesting gun. Hey, fun fact, you know, team killing's on. <laughs> I think I scared him. I thought I was gonna kill him. And also, this gun does not have long range whatsoever. But, once again, this thing has basically everything that all the other SMGs have. Hey, watch, watch me. Hello! I think I just did something with one second. You, you can... I'm gonna try and help this guy reload. Oi! Hey, there we go, I helped him reload. I feel good. Um, now, hopefully this guy has a better gun. Watch this. I'm stinky! Oh. <laughs> I deserve that! <laughs> oh my god. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, that's not ex what I thought. It's a Thompson. This is not. Well, I'm recording a video, so... A couple video. Yeah. I should have bought a grenade so I could do more suicidal grenade charges. Now, my last video did not get that many views, but let's hope. Oh yeah, once again, you see the problems with this gun. Of course, if there are any guns I'm forgetting, it's most likely going to go the bad or the, or the okay section because most guns that I am forgetting, I didn't bother to write down because they are not particularly bad and are not particularly good. Uh, here's the other two again. Oh, here's the Sen gun. Sen gun. Okay, this gun is good. Like yeah. really good. So basically, you know, it's. Sten gun. It, I don't know, because on Battlefield it's not that good of a gun, but in Pavlov, oh my god, it's definitely not the best gun in the game. I, I think it'd be the fourth or the fifth best gun in the game, but it's definitely above the twenty. Also, how it has like no recoil. It's one of the best guns in the game. I think they should have the British in the game. I think these things when you're playing British sound be cool. The stain gun and bread gun. Oh. So it has a faster rate of fire than most guns, and it keeps itself stable, so it's like the MP40 or better. Now we only have one more gun in the entire game to cover. Well, not entire game, in the World War II section of the game to cover. And it'll be the bread gun. Hope it spawns.
Oi, stinky. No, I'll just get some grenades. Oh, by the way, if I had to rate this, I'd rate this in the very bad section. Most people don't actually know that this repairs tanks. And this also in the very bad section because it's annoying and hard to place down. And most of the time it just goes invisible like that. Which, I'm not sure what that does. I've played this game for a long time. I have no clue what it does. Because when it goes invisible, I've placed it under tanks. It goes invisible, nothing happens, so... Sometimes it doesn't go visible, but still. There's probably there's probably a reason it goes invisible and I just am not aware of it. See, if I didn't label a big big problem with Did I see a bread gun? With Oculus and, and this whole thing. Is that oh um Ben gun? There is one massive, massive problem, and that is your hands, all that, they, you get, commonly, you lose tracking. So if I do funky stuff, like here, it'll most likely lose tracking. Pretty soon, I might be surprised I didn't lose tracking right there. And also, another thing, Pavlov designers, don't give Russians those grenades. I still, to this day, do not know how, to, how they work. That didn't fucking do that explode? That didn't explode. Come on, come on. No, no I was so close to getting there. As soon as you get there, it's just getting from the camp. Slide it in. Slide it out. Slide it out. Also, fun fact. You probably didn't know about this game, a lot of players don't know this and I don't see this used a lot, is you can actually go dual wielding. So if I had a second gun here, I have a knife, but that's not a second gun. Hello! Thank you! And if I just loaded this up here, oh, thank you! I hope this was not triggered. Oh, more grenades, thank you! Then I can actually go dual wielding, and it's actually pretty good. Did I get a kill there? But yeah, dual wielding is not bad. The only problem is you can't throw grenades, and reloading your weapons is an absolute pain in the ass. So would I recommend it? Not entirely. It depends on which situation. If you're on a really close range map, where once again you don't need to aim, then of course do this. But if you are on a map that like matters. Kill him there. Hmm. Goodbye, MG. Wait one second. Hello, would you like to take a top part in the demonstration? Okay. Um. Shoot me. With two hands. Let's pick up the pick that one up as well. Go for it! Yay! See guys, that is, um, dual wielding. I don't know, I wanted that guy to be happy. I'm not sure if this grenade will hold this close to my hand or not. These Russian grenades are really scared. I think I just ignited the fuse. Yeah, I think I did, wow. I did, I ignited the fuse just the oh, bruh. Okay, well, I, I don't think that bread gun is going to be coming anytime soon, but, you know, bread guns are the good to very good stuff. So, thank you, everybody, for watching this. Uh, I'll try to end it for you guys. And then I'll end the video. You know, I'll have to edit it, and then I'll release it to you guys. So. That was pointless. I was not going to get that kill, but still. Maybe, wait, wait, one second. Most of you don't know you can do this. Well, you know, on that note, I better end myself here. Thank you, everybody, for watching this video once again. Remember to like, or and subscribe. Hey, buddy. Hey, do you mind if I can borrow your pistol? Uh, thank you.
All right, uh, remember to uh, like or subscribe or... All right, goodbye. Oh, it's the end of the episode.